We'll talk about the electronics now. I had to increase the height of the coach bolts by about 10 20 mil. The reason for that is that where I then put the cables in for the LCD, they then raise the height of that by about 30 odd mil. Having your electronics in the bottom, its worst enemy is a hotbed. You don't want to have the heat affecting your electronics and you definitely don't want it melting anything. So I've had to lower it just to, just because of those connectors. They're fairly large connectors. It's quite simple now. Or to remove the electronics, it all comes out as one module. I just use the nylon standoffs you can get. So the height was determined what I had in, in my box, I think like 25 millimeter. And so I just made three, three of them up. Just use the stud on one end, screw that in. So now I've got a lot more room for the air circulation to go through to the electronics. I've now mounted the fan directly to the plate before there would have been no room. So I've just mounted the fan directly blowing on the MOSFET. I've changed the position of two of the motors because once I decided where the electronics were going to sit I then said right if that motor is going there I don't want the wires coming over this way and if that motor is over there I don't want the wires going that way and if the motors are there the wires going there so now the wires will cross over with the least amount of interference to each other and so they'll mount on the side and then just one cable will come across mount on the side one cable will come across so looking at the Z I've got the cabling coming on the right of the motor on the X I've got the cabling coming closest to me and on the Y I've got the cabling going on the back I've just mounted the fan on one of the standoffs and the majority of the fan blows on the ramps board and a little bit underneath for the Adreno board. I can put a deflector up later if I want to to guide the fan. One of the problems with the ramps board is that this particular MOSFET overheats. Like us, manufacturers try to get it with them for the cheapest price and usually the minimum quality that will do the job for 12 months for as long as the warranty is. So that was a low duty MOSFET. Would do the job but if you got a long print job it would overheat. I've made up a plate that mounts to the holes on the power supply and having a benefits of having a laser cutter is that you can draw it up in SolidWorks or whatever CAD system you got, export the DXS file cut it, come back and make sure it lines up. Sometimes you think, oh yeah, that's 110, 105, but it might be 103.2. You think, why well, they do these stupid ideas for, but we won't go there. So you then work it out, do your template, take a cut, measure it, oh, okay, it's half a mil this way, come back, oh, that's a little bit bigger, minus 0.2 of a mil this way, and then you get it right. So all you've done is laser cut it a few serial boxes you'll find dimensions on the internet but they only show you three of the four holes and you need the other hole is where the screws now and so I've again do your template and you just cut that out and put it on. I originally made this board close to this edge it could do with five mil up further once I lowered it I had a lot more room to play with so this original cutout was for the USB lead I've got enough room enough air you can put your decoration in there as you wish these two ribbon cables number one and two there's one there's two and if you look on the board itself it actually tells you the numbers it might be a bit covered up connector and on the LCD you'll also see one and two so just mark it with a texture color so each time it comes on and off it's right they sent me the other type of LCD, higher and narrower type. It just fits in here. So I plan to just make a slide in, slide out controller. And that's why the cabling now goes up around the fan 
and back out. So that fits in and out, in and out. But I won't be able to make a cover for it until the printer's going. So that's why I haven't showed you. Also on the LCD, it doesn't come with a knob. So where you have your selection, you need to make up a knob. It's On my particular one, it's 6mm with a flat. If you get the ones for the potentiometers, the spline type, they're too small, but I'm modifying mine to suit. Or you can print it on your design. It's just to rotate around, around, around. I don't think it has one, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's important. I think it just switch it on, you click, and it moves the menu up and down. So that's how the electronics goes. So that's what it looks like at the moment. Plenty of room, plenty of space. That's on the side, that's on the side, that's on the side. Then I'll, I'll make up a JST power rail. If you look at my Quad 4A video on the power rail, there'll be the link, it'll show you how to do it. And then, then I'll just make up the uh, JST connectors and tap off the 12 volts and put it in. So that's what stage we're up to now. Main boards are done, fans in, the height's been adjusted, the motors have been aligned and checked again, cabling's been twisted, all the screws have been tightened. As you can see, all the cabling is hidden, can't see it from the side, another one, can't see it from the side, another one, can't see it from the side. I started to put this on but I, I might give this a flick, I put a bit of heat shrink on just for the fan and when it comes to the fan you have the male and female JST connectors I plan to put on a spare one for another fan when it comes and the and this other fan but I'll have one type of connector for the signal and the fans the other way female here and the two male the other way the reason for, for that is if you just got these hanging out and you push in the 12 volt from the fan into the signal one it may cause problems so just so as you know which goes where and what's different. So I'll fit all this, fit the connectors. I've got a crimper for the JST so that's no problems. You can just solder it on by your right hand control leads and solder it on. And then I will then decide where I put the extruder. So then that part's done. We sh should be sweet to go if the people in eBay find which bottle to put my components in to let them float across the ocean to me. So. So that's what stage you're up to, gives you a lot to go on, just put a velcro tape over the edge, you can keep your cabling there, electronics will come off in one hit, so, so far everyone's sweet.